Snipeville, watch Snipeville, watch Snipeville. Hi, welcome, welcome to my vlog. It's been a while, but that's okay. We're going to talk about Nightville because it is fantastic. It's a fantastic podcast. It's basically set somewhere in the desert, in a little town called Nightville, of course. He's little the radio guy who does all the local news and what's going on in Nightville. And I'm very, he, I love the way he talks. I love how nonchalant the character Cecil is. Like, he's so poetic and it's all mystery. He tells you what you want to hear. He tells you what you need to hear. He tells you what you sh should know, not know, or you should totally forget about it. Forget he even said anything. And it's just really fascinating how well it's all put together. It's written by Jeff Flank and Jeffrey Connor, narrated by Cecil Baldwin. I'm probably butchering his last name, but you know what? Just look it up. Commonplacebooks.com. They have a lot of great stores. They have key mugs. Bumper stickers, shirts, buttons, little merchandise. And also, please donate to them because they're fantastic. Everything's free. The podcast is completely free to listen to. So if you want to keep it going, you gotta donate a little bit. Because it's a nice gesture and it's you want something. This is how we have nice things. By donating the things we like, we keep good things around. As well as the dog part. Do not go into the dog part. Don't go there. There is no dog park. There is a dog park. Never think of the dog park. Stay five or more or a lot of feet away from the dog park. Don't mention it. Forget about the dog park. Dog park. No dog park. There is no dog park. And I'll hail the glowing cloud. That's also part of the PTA. There's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in Night Bells. As well as Carlos, the most interesting character, he's one of the few people that actually have a bigger description than any of the other characters they have in the show. A nice dark color, he has perfect hair, a nice jawline, and he looks tired, and he's a general person who's, you know, a scientist. He looks like a scientist, basically. And uh, he has gotten caught in the eye of delightful, delightful, delightful Cecil, who caught, occasionally talks about him in the show. And stuff. What's really interesting about Cecil, there's not much about him. There is a lot about him, there, but there's no real big description. He has an interesting smile. He wears a tie. He's not fat or skinny, nor tall or short. And he is a beautiful voice, a beautiful man. So it's really interesting. What drives me crazy about Cecil as a cosplayer is there's real no huge description. But in a way, it's kind of liberating to have a character that hasn't much. Because it gives you a creative freedom to make this character. Cecil could look like anything you want. Anything in your mind, I think they want to keep it that way. There might be a few tiny bits, things here and there, descriptions. Like what he wore for his date. A tunic with furry pants. That's a very interesting to wear. Also, you could always take a little bit of the description of other characters. Or the idea what the... But besides, I'm getting ahead of myself. All the Nightmill people are expressed in a very interesting manner. Some of them have, like, Leonard has purple lips. That was in the latest episode of cassette tape, of a little bit of the Cecil's background of his childhood, a tiny bit. So that was really interesting. I recommend it. There's currently 33 episodes right now. Is right now like a few days before Halloween, so the next one will be up in November 1st, and the next one will be in November 15th. So it's always the first and the 15th when they have new podcasts. And I love the, the I love the descriptions of the floating cat in the bathroom. That is really cute and horrifying at the same time. It's a really messed up podcast, but in a very delightful way. I can't say enough how much I recommend it. Thank you for listening to me talk about Night Vale. I think it's excellent. I really want everyone to see it. I can't get over enough of it. I feel like if you're a cosplayer, I think you're going to really enjoy the freedom and creativity it will give you to create characters if you want to. But I feel like it is a audio medium. I think it should stay true. I don't think they should 
really elaborate too much on the characters. I think the whole thing is the mystery of not knowing is what give people that sense. If you have too much, it really takes away from the show. The whole point is the visualness. Cecil is a voice. Cecil's not a face. I'm really curious about I would love people to comment on this, really. Please leave your comments in my comment section. Please like if you like. Please share. I would like to get more people on board in this. Um, why do people put an eye in the middle of Cecil fan art? I would like to know the inspiration of people and why they choose certain characteristics for Cecil. Why is he blonde? I don't think once they've mentioned it, unless on the writers or actors have mentioned that description is hair color. I would like to know your inspiration of your choices. Is it the actual voice actor, narrator for Cecil or some of your inspirations of his design? Please leave your comments in the bottom here and thank you please. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.